morning, beautiful people. It is Tuesday. Today is a very special day for me because it is my last full day with students. We still have school Wednesday and Thursday, but they're half a days. So today is like the last whole full day. So I am very excited about that. It is winding down. And if you're wondering why I'm a little quite so fancy today, it is because we have an award ceremony at this afternoon at the end of the day where we give out a uh, certificates for perfect attendance, citizenship, honor roll, principal circle. So yeah, parents will be coming. And I also want to say thank you. Uh, two of my followers just blew me away with their generosity. I want to thank Ashley H. and Rachel H. I don't want to say their last names. Um, but these two amazing ladies totally funded my Donors Choose project on DonorsChoose.org and I am so grateful and thankful that I'm going to get tables and chairs next year, Time Magazine to help teach expository text, and their generosity just blew me away because you're not giving me money, you're giving my children money. You're helping the children and for that I'm eternally grateful and I have put up another project on Donors Choose because I do want to try to get another table and chairs and you know, this is not me begging for a handout but you know if you feel if you want to help the children I there's not enough words I can say to say thank you I also need to say thank you my last video I put out I didn't know what the reaction was going to be the video on Orlando and I didn't know if I was going to wake up in the morning and have a you know a comment box full of hate mail I, I didn't know what was going to happen but someone is knocking at the door I will be right back I'm back that was another teacher popping in to see some of the decorations and rearranging the room arrangement so I've had a couple people pop in to see some of the stuff um, I'm trying to remember what I was saying. Oh, yes. Uh, my last video. I didn't know what was going to happen when I recorded that video and posted it. I was expecting... Actually, I don't know what I was expecting, but I love my followers. I love the community that we're making here on this little itty bitty channel. I got nothing but love. Love and support and kindness and for that I'm very grateful so with the thank yous out of the way and I don't want to get emotional again my last couple of videos have been emotional it's time to get time to get back to the happy 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 and so that's what I'm doing today today's video is very much about packing up my room getting things done my steps to pack up the room because that's been a big question was I going to vlog the cleaning all up and putting everything away and so before I kind of start taking the camera around and start vlogging. I do want to kind of go through a list of things here that I wrote so I don't forget anything. And before I shut down my room, one of the first things I do is organize my classroom library. Um, it never fails. The books get out of order, the things get disarranged, or that's not even a word. It just becomes a mess. <laughs> And so I will have the children go through the bookcases and find all the holiday books and we'll put those back in the right tubs. Uh, with my DRA2 books, I went through and had the children you know, put the 24s back in the 24s and the 38s back in the 38s. And then we tidied everything up. Any books that had ripped pages got taped. Any books where the sticker dots were coming off got a new sticker dot and a piece of tape over to keep the sticker dot from coming off because if you if your books aren't labeled appropriately it's going to be very confusing next year if you're trying to do something like a daily five or uh, finding good fit books for your students so that's one of the big ones before you wrap those bookcases in butcher paper or saran wrap make sure that they're organized the way you want them to be so this way when you come back in September you take off the butcher paper Boom, you're ready to go. Second thing I do always before I close out my classroom, and you've seen me do this in previous videos, is I send out all the copies I'm going to need for September, October, November. I really do. A lot of teachers don't do that, and so what happens is when you come back in September, 
suddenly every teacher in the building is sending out PRC orders to our printing center and the printing center gets behind and usually the turnaround is like three days to get your copies made well in September the turnaround can be two to three weeks depending on how many copies got sent to the PRC by teachers who weren't prepared and didn't get their copies made in April or May always get your copies ready and I actually had a little trouble this year because I know we're keeping the same everyday math program so I was able to send out my math copies I know we are keeping the same social studies program I was able to send out the copies I need for social studies but we're changing our reading program so I can't send anything out for that and we're changing our science program so I can't send out science copies so I already know that when I come in I'm going to have to make some emergency copies to get me through that first week or two and then send out the PRC's for those another thing you're going to want to send out are the forms you need in September for like the first day of school so with for me I have my remind paper for how to have my parents log on to the remind app for the classroom so that they can text messages from me this was a letter I sent home every year but I won't be sending it home this year this was my letter explaining the daily five the five choices I pick good fit books um, but yeah I didn't bother making that because we're getting success for all and then this is my open house packet this is called the ABC's of fourth grade in room 404 and it goes through everything a parent could possibly need to know in my classroom I have never posted to Google documents but I'm going to play with that and see if I can get this uploaded um, you're not going to want to use it exactly but if I can get it into Google documents then you can tweak it and adapt it to how you want it to work for you so but yeah a lot of you have asked me you know what do I do for open house and things like that so I'm gonna try to get my open house nights and my first day of school letters on Google Docs and then share them with you guys it might take me a couple of days to get that up there just because again I've never done it I've never posted to Google Documents a third thing you're gonna want to do when you close out your room is take home your truly precious items you know this as a gift to me from my mother who is now gone this goes home this does not stay here um, a lot of my what I call my little personal treasures those are all going to go into a box labeled you know teachers desk and they are all going to go home and go sit in my basement for the summer vacation um, I would be devastated if some of these real personal mementos were to get destroyed or damaged so yes take home anything that you just you know you know you love this thing it's important to you uh, another thing to do is to get the materials for the first day now which was part of like what this was sending out your papers to the PRC um, right now I've already collected for the first day like our emergency cards the technology forms that the students have to send I'm going to take all those forms home because over the summer I'm going to buy take-home folders for the students, the communication folders. I'm going to literally pack all those folders over summer vacation where you know you get all the forms together, stick them in there, and on the first day of school, instead of having to pass out all these papers, just pass out one folder, say, take it home, have mom and dad read it. Alright, so that's one thing. Uh, number six. Um, well, this one, I, I actually planned on doing this video earlier, but one of the things was get your awards done, uh, get your new class list for next year done. Don't wait to the last minute to do all of your paperwork, because if your school's anything like mine, you have bunches and bunches and bunches of paperwork that has to be done, and you don't want to save that for the last day. Whatever you can get done now, do it sooner as opposed to later. Um, the next one was you're going to want to like your bookcases I have oh my god not just hundreds of books I have thousands of books I'm not going to want to put all those books into boxes and then stack all the boxes I am going to leave my books in my bookcases and then wrap them with butcher paper and saran or well I've never done saran wrap but I saw other youtubers 
where are you getting these giant rolls of saran wrap that you're just wrapping everything up with? The teachers in my building, my district, we've always just used the leftover butcher paper at the end of the year to cover things with, to keep the dust off and to keep it secure. Uh, another big one is label everything. Really, write your name on your things. Yes, technically it's school property, but in the past I've written like my room number on something and but then something happens and you change rooms and suddenly you know your furniture is in the wrong room and you're trying to tell them that you know oh this is mine I needed to go to this room now like well this says it belongs to this classroom and yeah no write your name on everything also I have learned to not use a sharpie marker to do it because did you know that nail polish remover will bring off Sharpie marker like that in a second? So I have learned to use paint pens and I just very neatly write my name on everything um, and it will come off. You can remove it if you need to, but when you write your name on something with a paint pen, it'll last for like five, six years. And it's this way you guarantee that no matter what classroom you move to, your furniture, your items are going to go with you. Next, I'm going to say at the end before you walk out your door for that summer, lock up everything you possibly can. I have one closet that locks, I have a filing cabinet that locks. So, you know, anything that you don't want to take home, but you still want to keep it safe, lock it up for sure. And then another big one, before you shut down your classroom, this is a great time to purge, to clean. Um, throughout the year, you, you collect things and you stick them in corners, you shove it on shelving units because you, you might use that one day. Yesterday, I cleaned out my closet and I mean, I cleaned out the closet. It was everything came out and then everything went back in in its proper place. I had scraps of construction paper of all kinds of assorted sizes that, you know, I may need this construction paper for something. And look, it's already pre-cut. It's been in my closet for two years. I gave it all to the kids yesterday and said, have a ball. And they did. They made all kinds of great things with the different construction paper sizes. Um, if there's broken manipulatives, get rid of it. If there's, I had a box for uh, Elmo, a document camera, in my closet. And it was a pretty big box taking up a lot of valuable room in that closet. I don't even have that Elmo anymore. It's gone. So I'm storing the box for an item that doesn't even exist anymore. And I'm willing to bet right now in your classrooms, if you start looking around, you're going to find that, wow, why do I have this? We've discontinued this five years ago, and yet it's still taking up valuable real estate in your room. So before you shut it down, now is the time to clean it out. And with that, I'm going to stop talking right there, and as I go through the day and I start closing things out and wrapping things up, I will share all that with you guys. Um, wash everything. We collected the books. And yes, they're older textbooks. They're a little rough on the edges, but what we did... I had students use um, Clorox wipes to wash the covers and the surfaces of the books to at least get all the germs off of it and get all the food gunk and you know they have candy in their desks and they get candy and chocolate on it so the books are at least clean and sanitized for my next year students because nobody wants to come in and get handed a book covered in glue and pencil shavings and dried food particles so the books are clean everything is being washed I do have students coming today for half a day, so today will be the day that we wash the tops of the desks, the insides of the desks, because even though I'm really hoping and praying to replace these desks, I do know that like the 19 or 20 good desks that are in here, I already have teachers saying, you're getting tables? Can I please have your desks? Um, so I already know that these desks are desperately wanted by my coworkers. So I want to make sure that if they, if I do get enough tables in here, I want to make sure that I can give them a piece of furniture that's at least clean, if not perfect. Um, another thing we did was I had the children come through, and then I kind of double checked it, and we reorganized 
all of the leveled books because over the course of the school year they do get mixed up and the wrong number of books ends up in the wrong tubs. So everything has been re -put, restocked into its correct drawer. Um, I double checked the sticker dots to make sure the dots were on them. A lot of the sticker dots ended up getting like a piece of tape placed over it because maybe the corner of the sticker was starting to peel off. So that's all my leveled books for my DRA2. That's going to get wrapped in butcher paper. I saw on YouTube a lot of teachers are using saran wrap to wrap up all of their things and that's cool. I've never done that. I've never even seen it before until YouTube. So I don't know where they're getting the big rolls of saran wrap from, so I'm going to have to look into that one. Um, but yeah, I'm interested. What the teachers in my district and what I've always done was butcher paper. So, you know, and here are my higher level books. We just, you know, cover everything with butcher paper like I did over here. Here are two of my big bookcases and we just you know put butcher paper on it to keep the books from getting dusty and as a deterrent to keep any summer school teachers out of the bookcases because it is just too much trouble to box up every book in this class all those up so I just wrap up the bookcases entirely and they're good to go another thing I've done when I leave come summer I take home the key to the computer cabinet Last summer though, I guess these keys are kind of universal and the summer school teacher in here still managed to unlock the computer cabinet and when I came back in the fall, four of my laptops were damaged, two of them permanently, like they could not be fixed. So I went from having 30 laptops in here to 28 with a couple with broken mice on them. Oh, I was mad because when I left I had 30 perfect laptops and I came back to 28 and several damaged ones. I was really upset. So this year, when I leave, I am shoving everything in against this wall and I've made sure that the computer cart is literally turned backwards so the door is against the wall and I'm blocking it off because um, I do not want my laptops used this summer. I was so upset to see that those were damaged because, you know, you guys know this is a poor district. When things get broken, they don't get replaced. It is what it is. So that was very upsetting. Um, I've also, another thing I do to pack the room up for the summer is, as you guys have already know, I fully decorate the room for next year. So I have up on my walls, everything ready to go hanging and then I put notes on it you know ready for fall please do not use the trims are all up everything is hanging my room is not getting painted this summer so there's no reason to not have it up this is the new window trim put up and I put the little pinnets and banners up there on the other side. Let's swing around. Let me try to hold this steady so I don't give you guys motion sickness. Um, here's this wall. And as you guys know, I've already moved some of the furniture. And the whole room is done all the way around. They're blank for now, um, except for the couple ones over here because I already know what's going to go up here. And this is going to be my math word wall for next year. I decorated the number line up there. I have my new ABCs all hung up and beautiful. And then another thing I'm going to do, it has not arrived yet. I'm, it should be on my front porch today when I get home from work. This is a giant rolling metal shelving unit that came from Costco. Uh, when I moved to the portable, my husband bought this for me and brought it here and assembled it for me. And this unit is amazing because this room has no storage other than that one little closet. It holds so much stuff, it's insane. But, 
excuse me, flag fell down. What it is, is a bit of an eyesore because it's open, it's exposed, it's very cluttered, and I've cleaned this thing many times, but honestly, there just is no good way to keep that looking nice. So what I've done, Amazon.com was selling a black shower curtain, and it's really cute too. It's literally like ruffles, ruffles, ruffles of black curtain going all the way around. So at Target, I bought some cheap shower curtain hangers, and then tomorrow my curtain arrives, I'm going to literally circle the entire unit with the shower curtain which will then hide all of that mess except for what's on the very top, which is no big deal. So I'm very excited to get the shower curtain from Amazon. And it was cheap. I want to say it was like, the shower curtain I think was like $17. So $17 to hide that mess. And I got it in black. So this way, even if I change the room theme, you know, in the next couple of years, Black's universal. It'll go with anything I have. So I really am happy for that. And then um, we have Amazon Prime. That's another piece of advice I can give teachers. If you're an upcoming teacher or, you know, you're like in your first or second year, go ahead and pay for Amazon Prime. What you will save in shipping and handling in the long run and the access to all the freebies, totally, totally worth it. Um, yeah, if you're a new teacher, get Amazon Prime. But yes, so pack up everything. Another thing I really recommend, label, label, label. If you come over here, you will see on my computer desk, Mrs. Beitler. This is a shelving unit that I bought out of my own money. My name is on it. Here's my horseshoe table. My name is on it. Here's my rolling chair that I bought with my own money. My name is on it. My name is written on pretty much everything in this room because come summer vacation to clean the carpet everything in here gets carried out the carpets get cleaned and then they dump it all back in and if your name is not on your stuff it's your all of your items are going to end up in the wrong classrooms I've had that happen multiple times and then even with my names on my stuff I still have to march from multiple classrooms to go find and retrieve my items so make sure your name is on everything and I've also learned a valuable lesson too if you've bought it with your own money don't write the classroom number on the item write your name on the item because I've had issues in the past where every now and then depending on which principal you have they'll say you know these items belong to this room and now you're moving and they won't let you take it <laughs> it's like wait a minute okay one I need it just because I'm moving rooms doesn't mean I don't need my things to continue to teach and then I've actually had to like bring in receipts to prove I bought this this is mine I'm taking it with me so yeah if you buy something keep your receipts if it's in the classroom make sure your name is on it because um, you would be shocked at the amount of stuff in this classroom that's actually my personal possessions I've bought several of these shelving units in here the rolling easel I bought that for three hundred dollars because I love to have an easel for when I'm doing carpet lessons so uh, you know, almost everything in this room from reallygoodstuff.com I've bought myself. So, yeah, write your name on it, label it. And with that, I'm going to stop for right now. I'm sure as the day goes on, I'll think of more tips and things to throw in here. And so, stick around. Talk to you soon. Good morning. It's the last day of school. I made it. We made it. Woohoo! half a day with the kids um, I don't really have that much to do I need to make a few copies I need to finish a few files my boys are here today Hola. over here is Casey my little cutie pie and over here is my big stinky teenager that I love very much <laughs> um, their school finished yesterday 
and so they are here with me at work today. They'll meet my students. My students are kind of excited to meet them for the first time, and I'm going to put them to work. Yeah. <laughs> so I will probably not vlog a lot today because I don't really have that much to do. So I'll do one quick run through when it's all said and done. And I'm about to walk out of here for the last time. I'll do like a pan around the room. And so yeah, I'm going to stop right there because I just want to get my work done. Done, 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 done. I am done. The room is completely finished and packed away. My paperwork is all done. My records are done. I'm about to leave my room and turn it all in and go home. <laughs> and there will still be more school related videos coming during the summer months. I've actually got several school related videos that I'm going to be shooting over the summer. I've got requests for fashion videos for school outfits. I have uh, a shopping list for first year teachers that's been asked of me. I have um, you know, lesson planning videos and all kinds of things that have been asked for me to do during the summer. So I will try to get on top of those. But for now, my room is done. The school year is over. It's time for summer to begin. And I'm going to turn it around and just do like a pan scan here so you can see that everything has been wrapped up and taped up. Walls and windows are done. The ceiling is done. Everything's piled in the back there. More bookshelves wrapped up tight. My little my little guy over there playing a video game on my Kindle. The books are stacked in the corner. More bulletin boards. Cute little toppers for the windows. The chairs have been stacked. Over here, everything is clean and spotless. And my bookcases with all my materials are wrapped up tight. Okay, the room is all ready for a summer school teacher to come on in and do her stuff and hopefully my things will be well taken care of. Another thing I did, I put away my uh, document camera because last summer several teachers came back from summer vacation to find the light bulbs in their projectors were blown because the summer school people basically turned them on and left them on for hours and hours and hours and my light bulb blew in November and my district had no more light bulbs so the light bulb currently in that projector is my light bulb that I bought out of my own money so for that reason I've locked up the document camera in my closet so that way my projector bulb doesn't get wasted because I need that I can't I don't even know how to teach anymore without a document camera and a projector I I was even one of those teachers back in the day who was using the overhead overhead projectors with the transparencies. I've always um, blown things up on the wall. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed the school year with me, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. If you like what you see, click the subscribe button, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to you soon.